there are three types of countries in the world when it comes to visa regulations for studying in Germany. It's important that you realize which of these three categories your country from which in, in which you are a citizen of belongs to. We have the category one. These are the countries of European Union. If you are a citizen of a European Union country, let's say Italy or Spain or Greece, you name it, then you do not need an entry visa for entering Germany, but also you don't need a residence permit, right? You can just come to Germany and live in Germany, so to speak. If you are from category two countries, then in that case, you can enter Germany without a visa because you have a sort of a, your country has a sort of a treaty with Germany. And then you can apply for a study permit and a living permit and, and a residence permit inside Germany at the city where you will be residing. Number three, category three, which cover most of, covers most of the non-European countries, to be honest, is for those who need to acquire, obtain their visa at the German embassy in the country in which they are a resident of, right? Not a citizen of, but a resident of. It can be that you're a citizen of Colombia, but you are living in, um, I don't know, Argentina, right? Or in Japan for any reason. And then you are able to apply for a German visa at the embassy in the country in which you reside, right? You legally reside. Now, for most of the cases, you are the citizen of the country where you also reside, you are a resident of, so you need to go to the German embassy in that country. That said, now we have an assignment for you. What you need to do is to go to the next lecture with the assignment, check the list, find the country in, in the country list, find your country, the country from which you have a citizenship, and then figure out does it belong to category one, two, or three, and then the explanation of category one, two, and three is also included in that list. Good luck.